Hey guys, it's Megan Hashem. And today I am talking about eating healthy when out. When you're at the food court, when you're at a restaurant, you're out with friends, you're, you know, too busy to get home and eat a home cooked meal, how can you be healthy? A lot of people think that if you're only eating out and all this stuff, you have to let go of your whole diet and, you know, give up. And also, I'm getting sick and tired of people saying, we can't order from there, or where should we go, Megan? Where can you eat something? Because they know I'm trying to be healthy. Um, basically, if you've got it in your mind to be healthy, you can be healthy anywhere. Okay, I'm not talking about getting ready for a competition or, you know, becoming the next bodybuilding pro. That requires a little bit more. You might not be eating out at the food court every minute if you're doing that. But for general health and fitness and staying fit, obviously I don't recommend eating out for every meal. That being said, if you're out, if you're at the mall and you're hungry, you can grab something, okay? Don't be crazy. Don't, you know, think, well, it's all or nothing. I guess I'll just have, you know, a big burger and fries and a shake, right? I think often people um, eat badly at food courts and restaurants and social events because they just let go. They're like, oh, well, that's that. I can't eat right. But it's not true, you can, okay? So I'm gonna give you some examples of things that you can get when you're out running around. Um, maybe you haven't had time to go home between work and some after work activity, something like that. You're at your kid's hockey game, you gotta grab something, you're hungry. Yes, in a perfect world, we would pack all our meals and have everything ready and prepped and ready to go, but obviously that often doesn't happen. And there's, there's a middle ground. You don't have to think, well, I didn't prep all my veggies and, and proteins and stuff. I didn't pack all my food and bring it now. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have cheesy fries, right? There is a middle ground. You can get some healthy things while out. And here's my favorite things to get while out. And I'd love to hear what your favorite things are to get when you're out and about at like fast food restaurants or food courts or, you know, a coffee shop. What do you guys like? What's your go-to? My favorite go-to pretty healthy meal is the Starbucks spinach feta wrap. It's Starbucks, it's Starbucks, it's Starbucks. So really it's an egg white spinach feta wrap and it's delicious. It's fairly healthy. It's got a pretty good nutrient calorie count and all that. Um, so that's my favorite go-to. The spinach feta wrap from Starbucks. So egg white, spinach, feta, sun-dried tomatoes and like a whole grain wrap. It is a really great quick thing that you can get. Coffee and a spinach feather wrap has been my go-to for years. Kind of healthy, pretty healthy. It's a good breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. I think it's about under 300 calories for sure and it's full of protein and a bit of spinach and you know a bit of carbs so this is a pretty awesome quick meal on the run it costs i think just under five dollars in canada here and uh it's good starbucks starbucks has quite a few healthy options you can usually find a Starbucks almost anywhere. They're on every corner, so there's really no excuse. You can go get your coffee and at the same time get a healthy lunch or dinner or breakfast. They have a few healthy options, actually. I used to pretty much eat Starbucks all day sometimes. They have the yogurt, thing, parfait type things. They have um, wraps. They have like meat wraps also. They have all sorts of good things. Just make sure you're not getting the croissant and the cheese and the you know bacon type things but there's a turkey bacon egg white uh, McMuffin that's pretty healthy and there's the feta spinach egg white wrap which is pretty healthy there's the yogurt with um, seeds and stuff that's pretty healthy it's Greek yogurt and seeds there's lots of stuff at Starbucks so Starbucks is a great place to start now if you're at the mall and you're at the food court and you kind of want like a big meal, like a real meal. 
um, whatever that means to you. I don't know. I'm thinking like dinner or you're really hungry. Instead of grabbing, you know, burgers and a fry. I mean, burgers are fine. Get a burger. Some people take the bun off the burger. Baby, give my order right, no errors. Not the buns are like poison or the end of the world, but you know, you can reduce your carbs and your calories by taking the bun off. Um, you're not getting that white carb situation. You could just have a burger. Uh, just don't have a bunch of creamy sauces on it, right? You can have most of the fixins like relish, mustard, ketchup, sure. Just skip the cheese, the processed cheese, the white bun, and the creamy things, right? So you could do that, but that's not my number one recommendation. Number one would be a chicken Greek salad. <laughs> food courts or even restaurants if you're at a pub or something they usually have some sort of salad usually I go for the Greek salad and I get chicken or shrimp on it right so you get a nice chicken breast on the Greek salad or chicken souvlaki whatever it is um, or shrimps or whatever nice clean protein source that you can find there and just get the dressing on the side because sometimes they go crazy on the dressing and you know you've probably heard a salad sometimes can be more calories than like a Big Mac because of all the cheese and the dressing and all that stuff so watch the feta cheese on the Greek salad and watch the dressing so get those on the side and you can just put your own I'm not saying have no dressing just maybe um, then you have it in a little cup and you can be in charge of what goes on because <laughs> um, they, they overdo the sauce sometimes a lot. Next suggestion would be a Japanese type place. So chicken teriyaki. Chicken teriyaki, chicken teriyaki, chicken teriyaki. I used to always do this when I was at food courts and even when I was dieting for fitness competitions, I would just order the chicken teriyaki. Um, you could get chicken, you could get beef, you could get shrimp, whatever teriyaki pretty healthy um, and instead of getting all that rice because they give you a lot of rice usually I just say you know double the green vegetables have more broccoli and all that cabbage stuff that they give you bean sprouts and I would just usually go without any rice I just get vegetables and meat they give you lots of vegetables then and it's a really healthy meal it's great it's it's just like what I would make at home pretty much almost <laughs> I might have a little extra chemicals in there but pretty much like what I would make. You could get a little rice if it depends what you're um, trying to do with your diet, right? So if you want, you could get like a little bit of rice and lots of vegetables. I just like to say no rice, all vegetables and meat. Next would be a Mexican burrito type place. <laughs> huge servings so I definitely don't eat the whole thing I order a burrito bowl at Chipotle or burrito boys or wherever you go you can order a burrito bowl so that means there's rice there's beans there's vegetables there's meat so I don't get the beans or the rice I just don't like beans so you could get the beans they're high carb but they've got protein so you can get the beans if you want I would say don't get the rice because it's a whole lot of it unless you're like on a bulking <laughs> situation and you want all that carb in there if you're getting the beans don't get the rice so just get the beans get the vegetables get the meat you can get chicken steak shrimp so get a nice source of protein get a lot of vegetables on there watch out for the sour cream guacamole i get but it is high in fat but it's a good fat so i get the guac um watch out for the sour cream and any other like creamy or oily things they might put on top and just load up on vegetables instead um cheese don't get too much cheese <laughs> yeah so you got starbucks you got mexican places japanese places greek places those are my top picks probably you could have a burger without the bun uh the burger without the bun it doesn't have too much uh vegetable content so it's not my top pick other things are like if you're just on the go and you need a quick snack like you know you're getting kind of hungry or hangry or whatever <laughs> i know i get that way and i know if i don't eat then sometimes i'll go crazy at the next meal and be like oh i need everything so sometimes just going along something you can get at like variety stores even is some nuts you can just get some nuts maybe a banana or an apple and have that as a snack just to tide you over until you get home and get your proper meal in you or until you get to the restaurant and order that healthy meal so 
you know, think about that. Nuts, seeds, bananas, apples, you can usually get those almost everywhere. So get some of those, Get have a few, don't have a huge bag of nuts, obviously. There's tons of fat and calories in there. Not that that's bad, but you don't wanna be eating a thousand calories in nuts, right? Because you're thinking of it as a snack, not your whole day's calories. <laughs> so basically my main point here is you just need to make up your mind that you're going to be healthy and don't let the food court or the restaurants or social occasions um, kind of tell you that you have to eat bad because you don't it's all in your mind um so you don't have to there's no reason you need to eat bad if you're out a lot of people tell me oh i'm so social and i go out a lot i go to restaurants a few nights a week i do take out blah 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 well you can still be healthy that's not an excuse to just eat the worst food ever right so just look inside what are you telling yourself what are your friends telling you sometimes that can be negative too it's all up to you 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 decide if you're gonna be healthy no matter where you are no matter where you have to eat no matter if you forgot all your meals for the day you can still be healthy so hope this helped I'd love to hear your tips and tricks for eating out make sure to share like and subscribe let me know what you want to see more of and we'll talk soon